Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch with news of a contest for Unity developers. And you don't really really need to be a developer in this case. Artists apply as well. And it's all about 2D. Now the Unity game engine has been getting a lot of 2D functionality. And apparently at their Unite conference last week, they announced this or started this new contest, the 2D Challenge, which is trending as hashtag 2D Challenge. Um, and the whole idea behind this is submit 2D game footage to them, win cash prizes, and the love of your peers. At least that's the idea behind it. So uh, today they just announced more details up on their blog. The contest is already running. So if you were at the United event in LA, you got a bit of an advantage there. And this is all about showcasing the new functionality that is in Unity. In the last couple releases, Unity 2D tools have gotten a lot of love. So for, uh, the blog post specifically goes through some of that new functionality that the Unity game engine has gotten on the 2D front, including including new 2D animation functionality, new 2D inverse kinematics, uh, 2D cinematics, 2D tile map support, including isometric, hexagonal, and square maps, uh, 2D sprite shapes, 2D pixel perfect rendering, which I've actually already done a video of on the channel if you're interested in learning more, as well as their SVX, uh, or SVG vector graphics importer and generic vector graphics API. So they are putting this contest together. Um, here you can see started on the 23rd of October 2018 at the Unite LA keynote until December the 17th. So don't worry, you got plenty of time to catch up. Uh, you can submit your games to on Unity Connect. We'll get to that page in a second. And of course, as always, all of these links will be in the comments down below. So don't worry about URLs. Uh, for the submission, you should send us a visual representation of the project and some insight into the making of it. Uh, sketches, clips using the editor, visual explanations of how you created it. Uh, part of the product with gifts, etc. Remember to use the hashtag Unity2D Challenge. Oops, I missed the Unity earlier. Uh, when either submitting your project or while working on it and sharing the progress on social media, we will love to see what you've got cooking. And then we see some of the, the new tools in action. Here, the key thing is the prizes. Now, the first prize is two grand. And, and there's no strings attached here. You just get two grand. So uh, you don't have to publish for them or anything along those lines. Uh, so first one, two grand, second prize, uh, one grand, third prize, 500 bucks. And then on top of that, there is a $500 special prize for tool creators. So if you are using the new 2D API, tool APIs to create a tool for your game, you can submit details on that as well. And then they go on to announce who the judges are. Interesting enough, Kenny... You, you, Oh, I don't even want to try that one. Sorry, my Dutch is not great. Vlugels? Vlugel? Anyways, Kenny L, Kenny NL, also known as Asset Jesus, he is the primary judge. Other than that, you have, um, two guys from Pixel Rain and then a bunch of Unity employees judging it. And the, the gist is, is this for you? Are you new to Unity and need something to trigger your dormant game creation passion? Are you a 2D artist that wants to put your skills to the test and show off? Are you a 2D fan eager to try new Unity features? Are you an experienced developer busy working on complex projects? Are you on your own? Or are you less than four people as a team? Less than or including four people as a team? So basically, they're trying to make this contest as inclusive as possible. So um, the scope of it isn't really that hard. You don't have to do a whole lot to potentially win this one. So it is kind of open to just about everybody. And again, you have until December to finish this up. So even if you are a busy developer, this is a contest you can get in on. Um, so they've got some resources to various different things involved. And then you head on over to the Connect page. This is the home page for the actual series. If you're interested, some people have already actually made submissions. So if you want an idea of what you are up against, there are some submissions already. But we'll go back over here to the briefings. The rules and conditions are available here. I guess we will visit them in a second as well. We'll go back to the briefings, uh, showcase what you could do, uh, create a small piece of content using Unity's 2D tools. It can be anything from pixel perfect retro style art to a, a snippet of hand drawn platforming gameplay or a thin vertical slice of a 2D competitive brawler. Anything goes as long as it's 2D. Now, the more, most important part is at the very bottom, uh, there is the uh, FAQ, which we will get to in a second. And as once again, we're kind of reiterating here. Top prize, two grand, second prize, one grand, third prize, 500, and then $500 for tools. And they showcase some of those new features and videos about the new 2D functionality that is in Unity, which by the way, if you have not checked out, you should do so. So the requirements are, you must have access to Unity Connect and a Unity Connect profile. You must utilize Unity 2018.x, which makes sense because the majority of this 2D functionality was added starting with Unity 2018.1. So yeah, uh, you must use at least one of these features, 2D animation, 2D inverse kinematics, 2D cinemachine, 2D tile maps, 2D sprite shape, 2D pixel perfect, or vector graphics. I got a feeling the more you use, the more likely you are to win, but eh, that's just me. Uh, 2D feature or features chosen for the project should play an important 
role in the concept of the project. The project can uh, not have been submitted previously in a promotion of any kind or displayed publicly through any means. That's kind of interesting. So basically, if this is work you've already presented, it's not eligible. You must tag all your uploaded content with the hashtag Unity2DChallenge, and you must attribute credit to any contributors who helped you along the way. In order to enter, basically, um, create a video showcasing your project, document it, uh, making of GIFs, etc. Uh, to be considered for that tool prize, please show the tool working in the editor with examples of what you can create with it. Uh, you can use example art from other people, such as Kenny NL. Uh, yeah, you can sell your stuff, blah, 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 blah. Uh, judging criteria. The submissions will be evaluated based on the level of imagination and creativity, thematic and stylistic cohesion, overall quality, and application of 2D tools to make something great. And then an overview, once again, of who the uh, the judges are and what they do. Uh, we go down here. This is not for 2.5D games. Uh, projects have to belong to a particular genre. No. Do I have to use all of the tools? No. And you got to use at least one, as I mentioned earlier. Can I use assets from the asset store? Yes, as long as uh, the main focus remains on the new Unity 2D features described above. Can I make media such as a short film? Does it have to be a game? It has to be a game, so no just film. Uh, can I use access from my existing projects as long as the project wasn't previously released, sold, or shared publicly? Yes, so that whole first release thing is seemingly pretty important to this project. Uh, how do you rate the documentation part of the submission? Uh, so the, the document submitted alongside of it. This part of the submission will be rated based on how you document the usage of your tool in the context of the project. This could be a small video image or a simple animated GIF showing you how you achieved a certain effect by thinking outside of the box and being created with 2D APIs. And uh, that's kind of it. And then I think, I don't know if that opened up. Yeah, so here you go into the illegalese. Um, Yada yada. I, I'm not going to go into a whole bunch of details here, but do be aware of some of these things because you need to be at least 18 years old. You need to have an internet access. You need to be an individual, which is weird because they also said you could be a team of up to four people. Uh, you are not Cuban, Iranian, North Korean, Sudan, Sudanese, or Syrian, uh, just because U.S. laws pre prevent that. Oddly enough, you cannot be from Quebec because I think Quebec has some wonky laws about, uh, prizes you can win uh brazil or italian sorry guys i don't know why but you can't you can't be part of this uh you have not won a prize from unity in the past 12 months you are not an employee of unity which i guess seems fair and you are not a family member of an employee of unity which again seems kind of fair and then we get into more of the details about it now uh again i'm glossing over this mostly but do be sure to um check this out you know the, the legal part is always pretty important but this one is it's pretty standard contrast stuff so far how they are winning how the point scoring works so you can actually see how the details of how they are going to judge is 50 points will be awarded for quality of execution interesting fun gameplay and good usage of new tunity uh, unity tools so this goes back i think the more of them that you can successfully work in the better you're going to do because this is literally half the score uh 25 for documentation and 25 for creativity so again Make good use of the new Unity tools in your demo, and you're probably more likely to win. Uh, the odds of winning, I don't even know why they put that in there, because it's going to be based on the number of people that submit. Uh, yeah, so I will, of course, link the legalese down below as well. Obviously quite important that you go through that if you have any legal questions whatsoever. But that is the Unity 2D Challenge. It goes on until, I believe it was December the 17th, somewhere in December. So you got lots of time if you're interested in getting involved with it. And if you've already got uh, a under development but not released 2D game that you've made using Unity 2018 or higher, you got a bit of a head up on everybody else. But this is one of those things where I think, again, they're going to be a haul about, you know, the gimmicks that you can do with the tool. So I think it's going to be more about that than anything else. But that's just my read on it. So what do you think? Do you agree with me? Do you think this is going to be all about showcasing Unity? That's going to be how you win this is basically by making Unity's new tools look as cool as possible. Or do you think it's just basically going to be make a cool polished game that happens to use some of those tools? I think very much the first is going to be the one that wins it. Also, are you going to enter or enter, enter? Are you going to enter? Are you going to enter this contest? Any interest at all or nah? All right, let me know. Comments down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.